hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is fail to launch game and error on our end caused the launch to fail so if you are receiving this error then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game do not ignore this step restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run ea app as an administrator so if you have the ea app running go to now hit exit close ea app and then type in ea app in windows search box make a right click on ea app and then click on run as administrator and then you can check still not working the next step is to clear ea app cache now for this uh, you can type in ea app in windows search box and then make a right click on ea app and then open file location make a right click on app recovery and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and here you can see clear cache option click on it this will relaunch ea app and then you can check now the next step is to repair ea app to repair ea app you can go to ea website and then go to ea website and click on download the ea app windows and then run this exe file do not launch the ea app click on repair over here click on yes to allow and let the repair complete the repair will take some time and once the repair is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working repair the game files now for this you can go to ea app now select the game over here and then click on manage over here and then click on repair once the repair is done launch the game and then check next step is to try launching the game couple of times so try to launch the game multiple times and then check still not working run uh, go to this link the link is provided in the video description here you can see visual studio file you have to download this x86 and x64 so click on it and run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete now once the installation is complete now restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can go to the game in game installation location and then over here you can see the game exe file make a right click on the game exe file and then click on run as administrator and then check you can even try to uh, try you can make a right click on ea anti cheat game service launcher and then click on run as administrator and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if for example i'm not using any third party antivirus i'm using windows security so you can go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allow app browser apps now go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed select the game exe file click on open add all the exe file even the ea anti cheat game service launcher again add an allowed app browser apps and then select this exe file open browser apps add all the exe file over here and then installer and then ea anti cheat add this one too now do the same thing with your third party antivirus so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee make sure that you allow all the exe file to your antivirus program next step is to repair repair update uninstall and reinstall ea anti cheat now for this you can go to ea website the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to my uh, ea website here you can see ea javelin anti cheat installer run this exe file once the download is complete run the file so click on this file click on yes to allow and click on repair click on okay and go to the game installation folder select the complete ea sports fc26 folder and once the repair is done launch the game and then check now you can launch the game once you see install success if that does not work uh, in that case 
uh, if you see up you can select sorry you have to select uh, EA Sports sorry uh, in FC 26 and then you have to actually uh, click on update option and during the update um, the EA anti-cheat setup may restart and once you see update success now you can check if that does not work select FC 26 once again over here and then click on uninstall and then select FC 26 and then click on install and once the install is success now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can select FC 26 and this time you can click on uninstall do not install this time close this and then launch the game now when you launch the game during the launch it will prompt you to install e anti cheat so during the launch you will see yeah click on yes to allow and this will now install e anti cheat and then you can check now it's still not working the next step is to rename fc setup settings folder when you do so all the saved settings will be lost now for this you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder open the local folder and here you can see ea sports fc 26 open this folder fc setup make a right click and then you can click on rename again here you can see settings make a right click on settings and then click on now you can rename also rename this FC setup folder all the saved settings will be lost now you can check still not working you can rename the save game files now create a backup first because you will lose all the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch now same location you can go back in this location you will see EA Sports FC 26 copy create a backup so copy this folder paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can make a right click and then you can rename this now you have to start everything from scratch when you all the save game files will be lost and you have to start everything from scratch and then you can check still not working disable daemon tools like if you have uh, this make a record on the start menu go to task manager if you have daemon tools running over here somewhere i don't have that application running but if you have that application uh, maybe disk soft or this one or maybe daemon tools make a right click then to an end task and you can uh, also disable it in the device manager make a right click in the start menu go to device manager if you find it under uh, like universe storage control if you find it make a right click disable in my case it is already disabled under this you will also find daemon tools make a right click and un disable it uh, let me close the game for now now if you have any other uh, application like if you have this REWASD application DS4 Windows, Auto Hotkey, Razer Synapse, Razer Software, Corsair ICUE, Faced Anti-Cheat, Riot Vanguard, Logitech you can disable it in the task manager if you find these application make a right click and then you can go to task manager if you find these application make a right click and then disable it also, if you find it in device manager, make a right click and disable. If you find XVDDSCSI mini port uh, like in device manager, make a right click and disable it. Corsair bus, if you find it in device manager, disable it. You can even uninstall these application. Close all the third party application like VLC, codec, wallpaper engine, MSI apps, any kind of uh, third party services application running. End it in the task manager. Also disable it in the device manager. Perform clean boot. Now to perform clean boot, type in system configuration in window search box click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable up hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart can be run and then launch the game next step is to disable or uninstall these application like zapred crypto pro punk buster you can uninstall this delete it from your computer if you have good by it and dpi app running close it drop top rain meter uh, you can close it any any third party keyboard application uh, software like icu icue software you can uninstall it or close it 3x software if you're running close it game companion is running close it if you have a product from scan if you find menu.exe in 
task manager you can close it and end it in the task manager if you have wipe port or wipes vr software sometimes it's hidden over here so you can just make a right click and then you can click on exit over here so this is just an example close all the third party application try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option if you have the game on e app click on manage and then click on view properties in the advanced launch option type in dash dx11 save it launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 save it launch the game and then check still not working remove it save it follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia select your graphic card your operating system click on find and on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver uh, you have to install the download the geforce game ready driver click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run this exe file when you run the exe file click on yes to allow click on okay click on agree and continue select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation over here and then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder select the game exe file you're going to add once the game is added over here now click on the game and then select over here high performance you will see your graphic card now launch the game now the next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate like if your monitor has a this is just an example if your monitor has a refresh rate of 240 hertz you can try it 120 or 60 hertz you can even go to windows settings and go to system go to display and then go to advanced display and then over here you can try 60 hertz and then check next step is to uninstall codec pack if you have any kind of codec application close, uninstall this application close obs unplug razor tartarus disconnect key chrome keyboard from your computer install directx file now for this you can go to this link the link is provided in the video description you can download it and then you can run this exe file now click on yes to allow and then click on i accept next uncheck install bing bar over here click on next and let the installation complete once it is installed then restart your computer after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version for this you can go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel go to hardware and sound and then go to power options over here if you find power saver option you can select power saver like this select power saver launch the game and then check you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then launch the game and then check still not working if you have any kind of external devices like hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer uh, if uh, you can turn off vpn disable steam overlay so you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties i don't have the game on e app uh, sorry i on steam i have the game on e app so make a right click go to properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if this is already off you can turn it on check which one is working fine for you if you have any other uh, overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay nvidia app settings go to and turn off overlay do not overclock set it to default if you have any overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner, uh, close it. Remove the Undervolt if you have Undervolt 3D computer. Next step is to create a new local account, new local admin account. Now for this, you can go to accounts and then you can go to other users. Click on other users over here and then click on add account. And then on this screen, click on I don't have this person's sign in information and then click on add a user without a microsoft account and then you can name it whatever you want this is just an example and then if you want a password you can enter the password if you don't want it leave it blank and once created you can click on the new account click on change account type you can set is ad as an administrator hit ok and then you can log out and then log into you can log and then log into the new account which you have created and then install the game and then you can check 
the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, uh, you can just make a right click on the uh, uninstall the game. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.